Hi, today let us see the classification of opioid analgesics. Morphine is one of the drug which is well known in the category of opioids and morphine is a one of a natural product coming from the papaver somniferum. And here along with the opioids we can use the two terminologies. One is the opiates. Opiates are the products which are obtained naturally like the morphine and codeine. Similarly, we can use the other term opioid, which is the synthetic products. Even there is a small difference between the opiate and opioid. Generally, we call all these drugs as the opioids. So today in this video, we will see what is the classification of opioids and how they are going to be derived from the structure of morphine. Now first of all let us see what is the structure of morphine. So this is the structure of morphine and this morphine structure is having the 5 cycles. So it is a pentacyclic structure. So this is the ring A, ring B, C, D and E. So it is having the 5 ring systems. And second feature it is having the OH groups at the 3rd and 6th positions. So where is the third portion? So this is the third portion and this is the sixth portion. So third portion one of the OH group which is attached to the phenyl ring. So it is a phenolic OH group. And sixth portion it is again having OH group which is attached to the cyclohexenyl ring. So it is an alcoholic OH group. So morphine is having the two OH groups third and sixth portion. Third portion phenolic and sixth portion alcoholic. And next feature the morphine structure is having an unsaturation at the 7th and 8th position. So this is the 7th position, this is the 8th position. Between the 7 and 8, a double bond is present. And finally, the morphine is having at the 17th position, a methyl group is present in the morphine. So this is the common structural features of the morphine. And when these structural features are going to be modified, it produces so many types of uh, opioid analogs. So now let us go one by one what are the derivatives of this morphine and other ring systems by which we have a lot of drugs in the category of opioids. So now in the classification we include so many categories like the morphine and their derivatives, morphinans, benzomorphans, phenylpiperidines, enilinopiperidines, diphenylheptanones, mixed agonist antagonists and full antagonists. So we will go one by one. First of all, let us start with the morphine and their derivatives. So morphine and their derivatives involve the same ring system like the pentacyclic ring system, but with few structural modifications. So one of the structure in the morphine and derivatives is the morphine already we have seen the structure. This is the OH group at the third position. And a similar drug is the codeine. Codeine is having the OCH3 at the third position. So this is the only difference between the morphine and codeine. And both of these are the natural alkaloids coming from the papaver somniferum. And another structure is the hydromorphone. In the hydromorphone is an analog of the morphine which is a synthetic derivative and uh, here the 6th position OH group is converted to ketone group and 7th and 8th position it, the double bond is saturated. So this is the hydromorphone. Similarly another structure is the hydrocodone which is the analog of the codeine where again 6th position is ketone group and 7th and 8th position saturation is present. And another structure is the oxymorphone. As the name indicates oxy, this structure is again derived from the morphine with an extra OH group at the 14th position. So it is having the 14th position beta hydroxy group and 6th position keto group and 7 and 8th position saturation. So this is the oxymorphone. Similarly, another structure is the oxycodone which is again derived from the codeine with a beta hydroxy position at the 14th position again 6 keto and 7 8 dihedro. So these are the morphine and their analogs which are derived from the morphine as well as codeine. Now let us go with the second type of category morphinans. How these morphinans are derived? Morphinans can be derived from the morphine structure. So first of all let us see this is the structure of morphine. And here we have shown the few of the bonds with the red color. If these bonds are going to be removed then it can produce the morphinan structure. So morphinan structure is obtained from the removal of this ether bridge between the fourth and fifth position. Now this morphinan structure is having only four rings. Morphine is having five rings but because of the removal of one ring now the morphinans are having four rings. So morphinans are the tetracyclic ring systems. 
so here is the one of the example for the morphine and this is a simple compound levorphenol similarly another example is the butorphenol and here in the butorphenol what is the group at the 17th position on the nitrosin so here you can observe this is the cyclobutyl methyl group so cyclobutyl means four carbons and methyl is one carbon totally it is saying the five carbon side chain present on the nitrosin if a group is substituted on the nitrogen with 3 to 5 carbons, it may act as an antagonist. But butorphenol is not a full antagonist, it acts as a mixed agonist antagonist. So butorphenol is one of a mixed agonist antagonist belonging to the morphinan category. Next one is the benzomorphons. How the benzomorphons are derived? Benzomorphons can be derived from the morphinans. We have seen that morphinans are having 4 rings. And now the benzomorphons are having three rings by removal of another ring. So which ring is to be removed? Again here we have shown the what are the bonds that are to be removed with the red color. If the cyclohexanal ring is going to be cleared, then it can give the benzomorphons. Now the benzomorphons are having only three rings. So benzomorphons are tricyclic ring systems. So one of a simple example in the benzomorphon is the cyclazosin. In the cyclazosine, we can observe again on the nitrogen, a group is present which is the cyclopropyl methyl group. Cyclopropyl means again 3 carbons and methyl is 1 carbon, so totally it is having 4 carbons. So again this drug may act as an antagonist, but it is not a full antagonist, it is a mixed agonist antagonist. Similarly, another structure is the pentajosine. Now in the pentajosine, the group on the nitrogen is the dimethyl allyl group dimethyl allyl group is again having five carbons so again this drug acts as a mixed agonist antagonist so in the benzomorphons we have two drugs cyclazosin and pentazosin both are tricyclic ring systems and both of these drugs are acting like uh, mixed agonist antagonists next one is the phenyl piperidines so phenyl piperidines can be obtained from the benzomorphons so this is the benzomorphon structure now, and now which ring is to be removed again here what are the ring that is going to be attaching this uh, piperidine ring with the phenyl ring is going to be removed so here we have shown the bonds with the red color if these two bonds are going to be removed and the ring is going to be opened then it gives the phenyl piperidines you can here observe that the phenyl ring is uh, attached to the piperidine ring system so in the morphine what are the ring which is present as a fifth ring is the piperidine so by removal of the bond shown by the red color we can get the phenyl piperidines now the phenyl piperidines are having only two rings so phenyl piperidine is coming from the benzomorphon which can be then can be represented with this structure and one of the drug in this category is the pethidine so pethidine is a phenyl piperidine with a methyl group on the nitrogen and it is attached with a ethyl carboxylate at the fourth position so pethidine is a one of the derivative in the phenyl piperidines so pethidine is also called as meperidine and another structure in this phenyl piperidines is the diphenoxylate again we can observe the diphenoxylate is having the phenyl group which is attached to the piperidine ring system again this piperidine ring system is having the ethyl carboxylate uh, functionality at the fourth position and instead of the methyl, simple methyl group, this diphenoxylate is having a large structure attached on the nitrogen of the piperidine ring system. Similarly, another structure is the loperamide. So loperamide is having uh, again phenyl piperidine ring system, but at the fourth position, it is having the hydroxy group. Instead of the ester functionality, it is having simple hydroxy group at the fourth position. Now this loperamide is uh, not having any analgesic action and it is mainly used as an anti diarrheal agent. So, loperamide is a non analgesic anti diarrheal agent. So, these three drugs, like the pethidine, diphenoxylate, and loperamide, are belonging to the phenyl piperidine category. Next one is the enilinopiperidines. So, we have seen that this is the phenyl piperidine. To this phenyl piperidine, if we are going to introduce the nitrogen in between these two rings, then it produced the enilinopiperidines. So here we have introduced the nitrogen between these two rings. So then it gives the enilinopiperidines. Because when the phenyl group is attached with an amine, it becomes aniline. So aniline is attached to with the piperidine. So it is a enilinopiperidine. So one of the example in the enilinopiperidine is the fentanyl. 
you can see that in the fentanyl the aniline is going to be attached to the piperidine at the fourth position and this fentanyl is having a large structure on the nitrogen of the piperidine what is this ring this ring is the phenyl ethyl ring because of this phenyl ethyl ring the lipophilicity is going to be increased and as the lipophilicity increases the potency is going to be increased in the fentanyl so fentanyl is a one of a highly potent drug compared with the morphine and the related drug is the sufentanyl sufentanyl is also having the inlino piperidine ring system but here it is having a thionyl ethyl ring system instead of the phenyl ethyl ring system so again this drug is having a more lipophilicity and it is also more potent compared with the morphine and another drug in this category is the alfentanyl alfentanyl is having further large structure again on the piperidine ring system and it is again uh, more lipophilic and more potent so in this way the drugs ending with the fentanyl like the alfentanyl sufentanyl and uh, fentanyl all these are the inilno piperidines next one is the diphenyl heptanes so this is one of the example in the diphenyl heptanes so here we can observe the two phenyl groups here so that's why it's called diphenyl and if you count the number of carbons so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so it is having the seven carbons so it is a heptane so it is a diphenyl heptane as well as also having the third position ketone group so it is so it can also be called as uh, diphenyl heptanone so this drug is nothing but the methadone methadone is a diphenyl heptane derivative or diphenyl heptanone derivative and this is a drug which is uh, having a weak uh, mu agonist activity so that's why this drug can be used in the treatment of opioid addiction similarly and the drug is included in this diphenyl heptane is again having the two phenyl groups so it is a diphenyl but here it is not is really heptane so this drug is the dextropropoxyphene so even it is not a diphenyl heptane but because of the structural similarity it is included in the diphenyl heptane category next one is a mixed agonist antagonist so this is one of the drug in the mixed agonist antagonist and here again we can see that the morphine like structure so this is a nalorphine which is just related to the morphine with an allyl group at the 17th position nalorphine is nothing but the n allyl morphine because of the allyl group which is having the three carbons now it acts as a mixed agonist antagonist similarly another structure is the nalbufin in the nalbufin we can observe again a cyclobutyl methyl group at the 17th position since it is having five carbons at the 17th position so again it acts as a mixed agonist antagonist and another structure is the a large structure this is the buprenorphin and this structure is also having the cyclopropyl methyl group at the 17th position so again it acts as a mixed agonist antagonist so this structure is nothing but the buprenorphine this buprenorphine is having an additional side chain at the 7th position this group is nothing but the 2 butanyl ring system but this group is not having any influence on the activity of this drug and uh, buprenorphine acts as a mixed agonist antagonist and finally let us see the full antagonist so two structures we have in the full antagonist category so this is the naloxone and second one is the naltrexone in the naloxone we can observe the allyl group at the 17th position in the naltrexone we can observe the cyclopropyl methyl group at the 17th position why naloxone acts as a full antagonist because it is having the three carbons at the 17th position as well as it is having the other structural features for a drug to act as a full antagonist for example it is having the 14th position hydroxy group 7 and 8th position saturation and 6th position keto group because all these structural features are going to be observed naloxone acts as a full antagonist similarly in the naltrexone at the 17th position we can observe the four carbon chain and again it's having the 14 hydroxy 7 and dihydro and 6 keto substitutions so naltrexone is a again a full antagonist so naloxone is a short acting full antagonist whereas naltrexone is a long acting full antagonist in this way we can see the classification of the opioids morphine and codeine are the natural drugs which are obtained from the papaver somniferum they can be modified to produce the different types of structures like the hydromorphone hydrocodone oxymorphone and oxycodone 
and morphine is having the five ring system so it is a pentacyclic ring and if we remove the rings one by one we will get the different types of opioid derivatives so the first opioid derivative is the morphine ions which are uh, obtained by removal of the ether bridge and two drugs in this category are the levorphenol and butorphenol butorphenol is a mixed agonist and agonist and next derivative is the benzomorphones benzomorphones are obtained from the cleavage of the cyclohexanyl ring so here we have two drugs like the cyclajosin and pentajosin both of these drugs are acting like mixed agonist and agonist and then we can further remove another ring to produce the phenylpiperidines so here we have the drugs like the pethidine and uh, loperamide and diphenoxalate and this ring can be modified such that if we introduce a nitrosin in between these two rings we will get another category of opioids they are the enilinopiperidines so fentanyl alfentanyl and sufentanyl are the enilinopiperidines because of the increased chain length on the nitrosin of the piperidine these drugs are having more lipophilicity and more potency compared with the morphine and their analogs and we can also have another category diphenylheptanes methadone and dextropropoxyphene can be included in this category similarly we have mixed agonist and agonist like the nalorphine nalbufin and buprenorphine and finally we have full antagonist like the naloxone and naltrexone 